Band Man back with you to talk to you a little bit about this midsection. It's not good enough, you know, to just have a trunk that's strong. You got to have a trunk that's reactive. You know, recently I was at a seminar and I heard this guy speaking about trunk stabilization and all he talked about was how the trunk needs to stay locked in and tight. Well, I'm here to tell you folks, the trunk and the low back specifically has about 30 degrees of range of motion. You need that. You need to use that. The problem is we use it too much. Because of hip tightness and because of trunk weakness, we go too far and we start mobilizing that low back and banging on end range of its mobility. As a result, we start developing low back pain. And if it lasts for a long enough time, it starts to degenerate and now we start wearing out our low back. So it's not enough to have just isometric stability. Yes, you want to start there with your planks and your isometric stabilization, but you got to take it one step further. You got to develop an integrated reactive trunk. Let me show you a simple exercise that helps you start developing trunk integration. I'm going to take the red band, a simple mini band, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it over top of my left shoulder. Now, as soon as I put it over that left shoulder, the torque of the band wants to pull me into this position, especially if the band is sloping a little bit downward. So, I got to learn how to stabilize right here and pull in and stabilize. Now, for most people, they'll want to do this because they don't want to use these. I'm talking tall. Book on your head tall. Stabilize, lock it in, and start learning how to hold that. Once you get good at that, then you can go ahead and start moving the band around. For instance, take it up here. Take it down here. Take it back here. And I'm telling you right now, holding that there, I got to really draw in through my trunk so my low back doesn't go into an arch. I got to stabilize. Now, if that's too tough, I can put myself into a staggered stance position, and that will take some pressure off my low back so I've got a little bit more stability. It's a better base of support. Remember, the role of your trunk is very simple. Keep your center of gravity over your base of support. That's it. So these isometric stabilization exercises with the band teach your trunk how to reflexively or reactively start kicking in. Great exercises to start out with. Just 10 second holds, change position, put it wherever you want, change your feet around, Take your feet and put them tight. Take your feet and put them wide. Stagger them. It doesn't matter. Just keep that belly button drawn in and stable and don't let that low back rock and roll. It's a great way to take your isometric stabilization exercises from the floor, bring them up to standing and start getting a little bit more reflexive in a weight bearing position because you know what? That's where we do our thing, man. On our feet. Hope you enjoy that little trunk reaction training. I'll bring you more in the future. Bam, bam, I'm out of here right now.